Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It's Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting a Virgo full moon reading going for you. Um, <clears throat> I do have out the Mystical Moments Tarot here and I have a 52 card deck from Universal Studios that has two jokers in it. I'm also going to clarify with the Fairy Forest cards and if you're interested in more information on the Virgo full moon, I do recommend you checking out the description box down below. Um, there are some links down there. I, I feel like before I start shuffling cancer, I need to um, not only mention that I'm not a licensed physician, so if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor, but um, when I was shuffling before I came on screen, I set, I always set the cards down kind of grouped together, and um, I don't like set them in a box or anything, they're just like on the table, and all the decks really splayed out. It was like when I went to sit them down, instead of like sitting them on the counter, they spread out and they like fell across the table. Um, and this Virgo full moon is really about structure and getting organized. And I feel like cancer that there is some sort of train that is coming into your life. And if you're not careful, that train could impact your life in ways that maybe you don't want. Um, and so it's important for you to figure out how to get the cards to stay stacked and not splay all over the, the, the desk. And so I don't know what that means for you, but that was a pretty strong message that Spirit came through and wanted you to hear. Uh, look back at 2017 is what I'm being told. So let's go forward. The Queen of Cups. So there you are. song Ooh Barracuda. Um, seahorses, the map, the male in seahorse um, partnerships actually gets pregnant and gives birth. So there's something here that in your life is out of the ordinary. In, 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 in this life experience, you were set up and designed to do this thing have this part of your soul's contract. Um, and I keep looking at her hair as octopus tentacles. Some of you need to go research octopuses. Uh, maybe spiritually. Ace of pentacles. So, um, something's growing in your life. It's been growing in your life. And this next four to five weeks is about you figuring out how to maintain that growth, how to work on that, how to move forward. And this next four to five weeks will give you resources. Um, I'm actually going to use the word premonition for how to utilize what's being given to you long term. Um, both of these energies on these cards are not looking forward. They're actually looking down at something that spirit created. And they're sitting kind of on a pedestal. So some of you, especially if when this Queen of Cups came out, you were like, oh, that's me. Um, may have put yourself on a little bit of a throne or a pedestal recently. Um, and now it's time for you to realize that in order to keep something growing, you have to put in work and come down off your throne. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Two of cups. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't typically take this deck in the reverse. Okay. Um, but the fact that I had to go chase these cards and they're in the reverse, tells me that you could be chasing something, Cancer. Um, 
the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. Your higher self is, and that's what the Queen of Cups really is. Um, and I'm going to keep those cards together. I feel like telling you by the new moon, even though this reading is for the next four to five weeks, um, these cards are in the position of the new moon. So either during the new moon in 2022, and maybe it's both, or the new moon here in 2023 that we'll have later this year, I do feel like you're going to look at this period of time and realize what I'm talking about. Um, the Two of Cups is our higher self. The person behind has way longer hair. She's older. She's been through more experience. She's trying to guide the person in front of her so that she attains whatever they're doing with those flowers. And um, the Four of Swords in reverse is where you're coming out of a state of healing. So paired with the Two of Cups, I would say, Cancer, that you will look back on this period of time later this fall and realize what you what your higher self was trying to tell you. Um, for some of you, that's going to be a very positive experience. For some of you, you may resist this healing. Um, and Ruby story is going to be different. Some of you need to wear pearls or you're going to be um, rising in socioeconomic status over the next um, four to five weeks in some capacity. The King of Swords paired with the Seven and then the Seven of Cups. No, it's not paired with, but um, Magicians on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this next four to five weeks, you have made choices that, and there's another King of Swords on the bottom of the deck that I'm going to clarify with. There's a, You have a lot of choices. You have almost too many choices is what I'm being told. Um, and that's why you may be struggling to trust your inner knowing, your inner voice, or your higher self. Um, let's keep going. Let's clarify these cards. I'm pretty, pretty adamant about not taking cards in the reverse from the Mystical Moments Tarot. Um, but when they fall to the ground in the reverse like that, it's hard for me to, to ignore that. And I feel like telling you that there's something that you are not paying attention to over the next four to five weeks that by later this year in the fall, come the Virgo new moon, you're going to look back and be like, man, I really did ignore that. There's a desire that is trying to present itself to you and grow and manifest. Man, I'm getting really hot and clammy. Um, <clears throat> I don't think you know what I'm talking about. And there's other signs I've done today that it's been pretty clear that they knew. Um, you're also the only sign out of nine. I think I'm on my. I think I'm on my ninth, maybe my eighth, that had a reversal. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Your soul is trying to tell you something. Three of Pentacles came out with the Ace of Pentacles. That's a Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles for the Two of Cups. Let's get a card for this Four of Swords and then I'll um, talk about these cards. Six of Cups and the Four of Swords. Yeah. There's a, karmic, there's a karmic connection in your life right now. Um, and by, you know, everybody, this these readings are really intended for the next four to five weeks. Um, but yours is kind of screaming that, that you may go through this for the next six months. And I used to do readings for six months out. But it, it's quite the energy drain on tarot readers <clears throat> to do that far out in advance. Um, that's why you'll see a lot of tarot readers do like um, one to three months at most. Um if you want to see like six month readings, I did do readings for the first half of the year, Cancer in December. Um, and I try to only do that now twice a year. So there, there's something here about, um, there's like a, there's like karma around you and it's quite burdensome, but I don't think that you really see the karma. I don't, um, not right now. And, and I say that because the King of Swords is coming after the new moon position. I do feel like you're going to go through this um, next 
this lesson, what you, this structure, the stability, this thing that is being revealed to you over the next four to five weeks. And some of you really are wearing your scars and your wounds and your trauma cancer as like badges of honor. Um, but I see this energy where spirit's really trying to show you the growth in your life and trying to give you moments to commit to that would be really healthy for you. Um, with the five of pentacles, the two of cups in reverse, the four of swords in reverse, and the six of cups, um, I, in the new moon position of this spread, I do feel like, Cancer, that there is something in your life um, that you are feeling left out in the cold by. And that energy is trying to wake you up and point you in the direction of your higher self. And you're struggling to see it. And, oh man, I'm burping. Um, specifically for you, Cancer, what I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to take this out six months for you. Um, this next six months for you, and it's going to be important for you to check out your other three signs, um, to get a total picture of this so that this next four to five weeks might be a little bit easier for you. But for you guys, this next six months is really about recognizing where you're allowing burdens into your life because you have emotional attachment to it. Um, a four of pentacles paired with a queen of cups because a three and an ace makes a four, um, paired with the queen of cups and the 10 of wands tells me you're very emotionally attached to things that are karmic in your life. Um, four of swords and a six of cups, again, that's karma. That's having to make yourself come out of the situation of pause, of freeze, of stillness, of healing. A two of cups and a five of pentacles, your higher self is giving you the answers. But you have to wake up and walk around the side of the building of the church and go in the church doors and up the stairs and ask that priest or those people for the resources and the assistance that you need. Some of you, <laughs> this is going to trigger somebody. And that's okay. Some of you prescribe to a belief system that you don't actually practice. I didn't say that you didn't believe in it. I said you don't practice it. That's a very different thing. Okay. And this next six months is making you see that. It's allowing you to get in connection with your higher self and trust your intuition better. A six and a two is an eight of cups. So... You are being asked um, to go within, to do the inner work. That's a four of swords all day long. So I would say by the new moon in Virgo, later this year, you will come out of some sort of freeze. Some of you will, some won't. Um, this feels like you feel very burdened by what you're going through as this Virgo full moon is opening up. And I feel like telling you this Virgo full moon closes out some energy that is related to the Piscean age, that if you're fighting it, um, you're resisting it. Spirit is going to make you see how you have rose-colored glasses on. It doesn't mean you're going to like it. Um, this is everybody's energy, Cancer. This isn't just yours. We're all going through this. Um, the difference for you, and I'm going to go on to how your reading is a little bit different than everybody else's for this Virgo full moon. You're asking too much of something. This reading is for six months for you. Because you have forced my hand at doing this six-month reading. That's how the cards came out. Your energy, your vibration, the vortex that you are currently sitting on is asking more of something than it is open to giving you. This reading was intended for a maximum of five weeks. And yet the way that the cards came out because of your vibration, I have to go into a six-month reading. You are asking too much of somebody or something, or an energy in your life, and you're not stepping up to a plate and stepping outside of your comfort zone and being a team player. And it's time for you to be a team player. Okay? But I do see you resisting that until about the new moon. King of Swords. The seven of wands. The seven of wands is ordinarily somebody that's laying down the groundwork for the next step, 
because they've already succeeded, they've already attained the accolades um, and the awards for their previous work. And a lot of times that Seven of Wands is laying down the groundwork amongst new company, new energy that um, you have to decipher with the Five of Pentacles and figure out whether or not it's meant to move forward with you. Um, sometimes the Seven of Wands is even represented as you feel like you're sitting at a table with people you don't belong with. And whatever resonated with you as I explained that, man, I'm so hungry. Um, you guys are really having to, man, I'm like super uncomfortable, actually. Um, you guys are uncomfortable. You have to ask yourself, why are you really uncomfortable? Go within. You need to sit with yourself privately and figure this answer out. I'm like nauseous. I feel super, super gross. Um, your fears about whatever this means to you are unfounded. It's all in your head. But the seven of cups and the nine of wands. Yeah, you're, you have too many options. You have, you are, your energy is scattered, Cancer. Um, the jack of wands is on the bottom of the deck. Um... Jack of Wands is a very immature, if not the most immature, uh, court card in the deck. So there's just something here about you needing to, the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands, man. Um, what are you trying to close? What is your soul revealing to you? And how do you get out of this energy safely? How do you, you go within? You do the inner work. You take the initiative and collaborate with spirit to see that growth is there. And it can grow even further and become something that will eventually turn into a legacy. But you do have to recognize that you don't have all the answers, Cancer, as you're watching this. You are going to come out of this energy, though, Cancer. Um, so... The fairy oracles, premonition, foreshadow, and mystery. Yeah, I said premonition already on this reading. Um, I do recommend going and researching the difference between a moth and a butterfly as a spirit animal. But is that all you're going to say about that card? Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Because I have done the work. I have taken the offers that Spirit has given me in my past. And I know the connection that I have with my cards. And that's all that I need to say. Because I know how these cards have grown in relationship with me throughout the time that I possess them. Spirit gifted me something. And I worked with it diligently. I allowed myself to receive the resource that was given to me with my, my Five of Pentacles years ago. Before the gathering. So celebration, anticipation, event. Yeah, Three of Wands vibe. So I do feel like at the end of this six-month period, you are going to be celebrating in some capacity. I don't know that you're going to be celebrating with who you think you're going to celebrate with. Um, for some of you, this kind of feels like a dark night of the soul. You could be entering a dark night of the soul. Um, you know, I, I feel like saying to you, Cancer, don't be scared of that. Is it, a, is it a process? Yeah. It's like a four or five year process to get through the dark night of the soul. But you have progression here. You have the seven of wands, a nine of wands, and a ten of wands. You're missing a message. The eight of wands is messages. It's messages not just in general, but from spirit. It's divine guidance. It doesn't even have a human on the card, typically, of the Eight of Wands. And you're missing that. Um, and then you have an Ace, a Three, and a Five of Pentacles. Well, you really have an Ace, a Three, a Four, and a Five of Pentacles. And <clears throat> you're missing the two. You're not making the choice. You're not making a choice to see the messages and the inspiration and the divine guidance that's being given to you. And so that is keeping you trapped in some sort of energy where you're ignoring your intuition. And because of that, spirit is gifting you a resource with a longer period of time than every other sign I've done a reading for. 
Are you going to accept the, S the messages or are you going to continue to ignore them? And so that's up to you. I don't, you know, have any form of possession of your free will. That is all up to you. So um, I hope that this helped. We're going to get one card to clear this out. Make sure you're checking out all of your big four. Um, four of cups, yeah. Spirits, <laughs> spirits protecting you and I don't know that you see it. Okay. Um, on the bottom of the dark is the temperance card. So there's definitely some inner healing that's going on. There's a need for you to recognize some personal boundaries, some personal space. Um, and that might not be yours. It might be other people's. And as you open up to that, um, restful states will come into your life where your emotions and your, your, your um, intellect and your soul can rest a little bit easier at the end of this six months, okay? Um, don't be afraid to spend more time by yourself and take this pause because spirits obviously have 444 here. Um, spirits really gifting you time to work through something in your life um, <clears throat> that will bring in a pretty awesome event or moment of um, divine connection with your higher self again, you have to be willing to take the steps and put in the effort. And um, I really hope that you do. So make sure that you're, pick, you're uh, checking out all of your big four here, Cancer. Um, I do think that uh, this reading had a lot of messages for you. Please drop down in your comments if you need to express some worries or some stress. Um, give it over to Spirit and trust that Spirit is going to give you exactly what you desire over the next six months, okay? Um, thank you for tuning in and I will get at you next time.